good evening, everyone. It is uh, my pleasure to welcome you to the Anglican International School in Jerusalem. Um, this has been a, a long time coming. It's, it's, a, it's a product of so many people, um, and uh, we will talk about them a little bit at, at the end. But uh, we just wanted to welcome you warmly. We are so proud of all of the efforts that have been uh, put in by staff, by students, by parents, in order to make this happen. Um, and uh, we are just uh, very, very gratified that you can be with us to enjoy the celebration of this creation, this musical called Vines of Decay. So with that, uh, I will hand it over to the performers. <laughs> Sit back and enjoy the, this production. Good evening, and welcome to our show. My name is Cerebrum, but you may know me as The Brain. My job is to keep things working in the body, to make sure screws aren't loose, but sometimes they are. And in moments of momentary mix-ups, I'm left with no choice but to use unorthodox methods. I send my patients the very emotions to repair any damage, and tonight I have a feeling we have a similar story unfolding. Ah uh, yes, Grace. You may have heard of her already, the self-proclaimed queen of Middlebury High. She has a tendency to fix what doesn't need fixing. Well, either way, I have to decide who to send her. I could send them. No, 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 no. Ah, whatever. Yes. Yes. Can you please send in negativity? Thank you. Yes, sir. You called for me? That I did. It's your lucky day. Oh, no. Oh, come on. I have this new file for you to look into. Grace? That seems more like a job for positivity. Oh, I know. But everyone else is booked. But this could be good for you and for her. She puts herself on a pedestal. Maybe it's time you reveal how weak those foundations are. Perhaps. But still, I don't want to deal with her theatrics. Negativity, you are aware that you're one mistake away from losing your position? Yes, sir. Well, maybe if you do this, you can keep your job. So if I do this... And do it well. And do it well, I'll keep my job? Yes, you have my word. Okay, I can manage that. Good luck. Attention everyone, it's lovely to see you all here today. Congratulations on finally finishing the year. Now as, now as per usual, we'd like to end the school year and start the summer by handing out everyone's yearbooks. So we write down some fond memories of each other over the past year, so we can remember the leaving students and wish good luck to those who are staying. And on behalf of the teachers and staff, we couldn't be more thrilled to have a three month break from you all. So enjoy. cafeteria table screaming at another student, Grace? Oh, whatever happened to her? Well, it depends on who you ask. I heard she got expelled. What? No, she dropped out. Um, did she just disappear? Okay, clearly nobody actually knows. But, uh, I mean, are we still supposed to write in her book if she's not here? <laughs> oh, please, elaborate on your incredible memories of her.
You got out of it that I need you. is a fool. Excuse me? Hush, hush. I mean you well. I'm looking out for your best interests, to live a little. And if living means listening, then I advise you use your ears a little more. 
get to the point. Grace, Grace, Grace! Oh, she's such a firecracker, which I like. Now, there are many sides of me, but I'm not here to fix you like that other dimwit. I'm here to have fun. I like fun. Precisely, why shouldn't you? It's because of negativity that you beat yourself up so much, but with me, well, the opportunities are endless. Pop the champagne, try on the dress, and flirt with the boy. I'm flattered by the invitation, but why am I here? Compulsion, darling, don't you remember what a perfect pair we make? We do? Of course. Give or take. Kind of. But now we can really have fun. You know what? I like you too. Aw, thanks. Alright, I know you have things to do, but we'll be back later, but keep it in mind. concerning. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know that your new tutor will be here in a few minutes. <coughs> Great. Yeah, I'd fix it up a bit. Come in. Come in. Come in, come in. Well, I see you have a knack for interior design. I'm sorry, I didn't have the chance to Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't expect you to... You thought I was gonna be some 40 year old? Sorry to disappoint. I'm actually a senior. College? High school. But trust me, my math skills will not be in doubt. Sure. I, I'm Grace, by the way. So I've heard. You have? Let's say you wrote it to some in my school. Really? Some. I personally don't know and don't care. And what are you, Hotshot? Eddie Jones, at your service. It's just good to you. Yes. Listen, Eddie, I'm not going to be a very good student. Oh. See, I hate math. There's a reason I failed it. I guess it's my job to fix that. Oh. What? Nothing. Let's get started. So, uh, page. 419. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it says here, you carry the one. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not accurate. All right. I'm sorry, you said you were good at math? Yeah, it's just... Um, Are you even like, a tutor? Alright, can I tell you a secret? That depends.
do this for one week and when I've been paid. We have been paid? Yes, yes. You tell her you don't think it will work and get some other idiot to do it. Deal. Deal. Well, uh, that was a great first lesson. I thoroughly agree. i see you tomorrow. See you, Eddie. <laughs> I feel like I've given you enough time. What will it be, darling? You know what? Fine. Let's do it. That's what I like to hear. Also, you have a look in your eye that only I recognize. <laughs> what do you mean? Compulsion, do you see that? A, a man! man! What? What are you talking about? Wait, what is he look like? What's his social security number? What? He's nobody! <laughs> so there is a he. Oh, please, I want all the details. Would you need help? I do not like him like that. Yet. Okay, fine. He's cute. Oh, I just met him. And? Time is of the essence. Okay, okay, no, give us details. Ahead of her, and yet 
She mixed with the wrong crowd. People who abused her, made her doubt the very fabric of her identity. And now, she's lost and broken and alone. Okay, that's awful, but why are you telling me this? I think you can help her. How? Grace, if I could just give her another chance, if I could see her smile with sincerity again, well, I'd give anything to see that. It takes time to re realize the signs You're just skimming by when you're living life just fine But underneath are the vines of decay And you know it is okay
other day I heard that say Grace. No, Grace, you are far from useless. Your father, he's just He's just worried about you. I'm sorry. No, Grace, honey, don't apologize. I wish I could take you away from all of this. And I I wish I could tell you everything. Early, so ice cream it is. Perfectly logical. 
Um, compulsion? Yeah? What if I spiced up today's outfit? Ooh, my presence is paying off. What were we thinking? Maybe something other than sweats and hoodies. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We need to fix that. Did my ears deceive me, or did I hear new outfit? Well, Eddie's coming over later, and I don't know. Oh my lord, I knew somewhere in that sad, deep, depressing shell of yours was that flame, my love. I say we go new age, bright gold jacket and sparkly eyeliner. <laughs> or we don't do that ever. <laughs> what if you go classic? <gasps> Reestablish that goddess mentality. <laughs> we need to prepare her, don't we? Well, we only have ten minutes. Oh my. Yeah, like one, 
Burnett? Who Well, historically, I'm more into Burnett. Interesting. Yeah, Carly Burnett's on my kryptonite. So I guess I should keep my distance, huh? Maybe. Um, what about you? My type? Mm-hmm. Tattoos, dark hair, tall. <laughs> Is it that way? Each other is exact same size. Hey! Can I be formal with you? Sure. Um, I might have lied about why I offered help to you. See, I've heard these people in my school rave about you. That you're the coolest. That they wish they were like you. That you're the prettiest. I don't. I didn't believe it until I met you for the first time. What are you saying? Let's stop dodging the obvious. You like me, I like you. What? No. <laughs> mm, sure. So you just happened to put on your best perfume. Maybe. <laughs> but you, you, you said you, you like me? Is that hard to believe? Like, like me? Yeah. But we just met each other. And yet it feels like we've known each other for years. <laughs> okay, well, I like you too. <laughs> I guess uh, I'll see you later today. Yeah, definitely. Alright, see you in two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Can I come in now, weirdo? Yes, yes, come in. I made some pumpkin soup, your favorite. <gasps> Thank you. It's the occasion. Do I need an occasion to be loving towards my daughter? No. Oh my god, that smells so good. Wait, can she not see you? No, no, no. The only good thing to you are your emotions. So, what's new with you? Ah, same old, same old. Oh, come on, add some zest. Um, I've been reading more. No, you haven't. Sorry. Really? <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice. Oh, and I've also been enjoying the math. <coughs> really? Oh, I completely forgot to tell you. Your new math tutor, I know he was supposed to be here on Monday, but he called saying he had a cold or something. Mm -hmm. What? What do you mean? Your new math tutor. He was supposed to come Monday, but he called said he had a cold or something. Mm -hmm. But he was, he was here on Monday. No, he wasn't, or at least I didn't lock the door. Or at least I didn't open the door for him. But he was just here, he must have passed on his way out. Or okay, Grace, stop playing pranks, I'm not that old yet. What? <laughs> then? What? If he wasn't the tutor, then who was he? Can I have a room for a minute? Are you sure? What is happening? There must be some sort of misunderstanding. No, no, no. There's no way she wouldn't have seen him at least once. This is some sort of voodoo crap. Oh. <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Grace's tutor is actually a serial killer. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't know that. I mean, who else could it be? A Soviet spy. Twenty <laughs> three. Yeah, that's logical. This seems weird. Let's just stay calm. calm. I brought my shotgun just for this moment. Grace, this way. Grace, stay calm. Pretend you know nothing. Don't do anything different. Just we'll figure this out later. Come in. And so the veil falls. He can see you? I thought you said only I could. She didn't lie about with that. Who are you? His name is Manipulation. Ah, manipulation? It sounds so dark. Hence why I prefer Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> How could you? After the everything that I told you. I'm not the bad guy. I care about you. It's them who don't. Don't listen to a word he says. Oh what? She realized that you use her like a doll to live out your own fantasies? Excuse me? What gives you the right to play savior? <coughs> I could ask the very same thing. You too? Really? My own sister. Do you not see the chaos inside her? She's bleeding out while you parade around. And whose fault is that? You're the one poisoning her. 
Keeps me all shut. Grace. provides my brain stimuli has short circuited. It's like all my emotions went into madness and then gone. May I interject? Who now? Sorry, I'm your brain. Somehow that does not word me out. Oh, it's probably because everything's turned off. I'm dead? Oh god, no, 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 no. I just turned off your emotions. I, I think you're still breathing. What am I doing wrong? I feel like everything I try to fix, it just ends in hurt. You're telling me. I've tried every protocol in the book. Emo phase, stress eating, pulling out your hair, the normal stuff, and yet we're still standing here. Wait, what if I'm the problem? I feel like we've already established that. No, no, like, I am the problem, and your solution was to have me be my own savior. You're saying... It's just like what Positivity said, a blind man giving directions is a fool if my emotions are me. Then we're the blind men giving directions to ourselves. Exactly. That also means that I don't have a real savior. No knight in shining armor. Grace, sweetheart, are you okay? I just, I had this weird sixth sense that I should come here. I'm so sorry, Mom. You've been there for me always, and I just shut you out. And I need you. I know. Your belly and wrong eyes are the ones convinced me. I feel like I've lost so much time with you, but. That's simply not true. You're still my beautiful and ever adventurous girl, my little sparkling ball of light. All I ever want is to hear your laugh and, and see you happy, and you deserve a second chance no matter what anyone ever says. I 
going to play us out. So enjoy the music and have a wonderful evening. Hi there, I'm Noah, and thank you so much for watching Vines of Decay. This project took six months of hard, grueling work, but we are so proud of how it came out, and we hope you enjoyed it. I just want to let you know that the fun is not over yet. We have a few big announcements coming in the next few weeks. I can't tell you all of the announcements yet, but what I can tell you is, as of you watching this right now, we've already started recording a professional studio mix of all of the music from Vines of Decay, and we're going to be releasing it as an album next month, which is absolutely crazy. We can't wait for it to be stuck in your head like it's in ours. The album will be released at the end of April, and to keep up with all of that, you should follow us at Vines of Decay Official on Instagram. We've been posting behind the scenes, we have weekly updates, and all of the information about listening to the music or the other things, wink wink, uh, will be there. So make sure to go check that out. And again, thank you so much for watching Vines of Decay.